Hello children, after completing first lesson of your science, now I am going to start your second lesson, the right clothes to wear. In this module, we will discuss about why do we wear clothes, what are the materials for clothes, in different seasons which cloth we wear, clothes at workplace, use of socks and shoes, how we care and store clothes. For this, you take out your book, page number 168. Okay. Long ago when humans lived in caves, how they cover their body? They use animal skins, bark of trees, big leaves to cover their body. Gradually they learnt the art of weaving, stitching and now we have different types of clothes for different seasons. Now you have clothes for party, clothes for play, clothes for sleeping in, clothes for school. So now we have different types of clothes. Why do we wear clothes? Because clothes protect us from heat, rain, cold, insect bites, therefore we need clothes, we need clothes for all the time. We should wear neat and clean clothes, children if you will wear the same clothes for so many hours, then they will become dirty, dust will settles on them, therefore you should wear neat and clean clothes. You need clothes in winter season, why? Because clothes protect your body from cold. We need warm clothes in winter, then in rainy season also we need clothes to protect our body from rain and in summer season also you need cotton clothes to protect and to keep your body cool. So people who work long in the sun, what happened? They, their skin become tanned because of sun and you see whatever the part is covered that is more fairer than uncovered part. So it is clear that clothes protect us from tanning also. During winter we wear warm clothes and protect us from the cold. So, if we wear long sleeved clothes at night, what ha happened? You will be prevent from mosquito bites, therefore clothes also protect you from insect bites. So, now you come to know that why do we wear clothes? Because they protect us from so many, so many things. Then what are the materials for clothes? Now what are the material? There are two types of materials. What first one is natural fibers and second one is synthetic. As the name suggests what is the meaning of natural? Natural means we get natural by the nature, by plants or by animals. How we get by plants? What we get by plants? Cotton, jute, linen we get from plants. Then animals, sheep, sheep gives you wool, then we get silk from silk worm, these things you already learnt in previous classes. Then synthetic fibers, what are the synthetic fibers? These are man made fibers, these are examples are nylon, rayon, polyester, they are waterproof, they are wrinkle free okay, and they, they can be dried early. Okay. So these are the two types of fibers, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Then the clothes wear, wear, which type of in different seasons, which type of clothes you wear. In the winter season, nowadays what you want to wear, you want to carry, you want to use blanket, you want to wear warm clothes such as sweaters, pullovers, jackets, caps, 
to keep your body to protect your body from too much cold cotton clothes ok so these things you wear in the winter season because woolen clothes prevent the body heat to escape and they keep your body warm then in the summer season what you want in summer season we wear cotton clothes because cotton cotton clothes absorb the sweat and keep our body cool we need we like light color clothes in cotton in uh, summer season because they keep our body cool and the hot they reflect they also cotton clothes also reflect the heat and keep our body cool then in a uh, rainy season we need we carry umbrella we need raincoat to protect our body from rain people living in different seasons they wear different types of clothes according to their customs according to their needs like people living in chennai wear different type of dress whereas people living in srinagar because srinagar is at the top and always there is cold season so they wear different types of dresses whereas in chennai they wear different types of dresses and sometimes children these dresses become national dress also what's the national dress of indian women all knew this thing yes the national dress of indian women is sari whereas the national dress of japanese is kimono got it then clothes at workplace there are different types of uniforms for different persons whatever wherever they are working such as doctors and nurses use white coat and uh, postmen use different type of uniform soldiers wear uniform made from tough material why what's the reason behind this so that it does not tear easily you have uniform so that you can be recognized of the same school that you are the student of this particular school policemen when we see them with in the uh, their uniform everybody come to know that they are the policemen so people have different types of uniform at different places clear then uh, use of socks and shoes so children what are the use of socks and shoes socks and shoes protect our body from from insect bites cuts and minor injuries if you will wear bare feet what happened there will be cut and dust and dirt attack on them settle on them therefore we should wear socks and shoes to protect our feet clear well, then germs and worms may get into the cut okay this i told you and one more thing don't wear wet socks or tight shoes clear the next part is how we care and store clothes as we come to know you come to know that clothes are very important for us so we should care them properly we should store them properly how you should store some clothes need too much care such as such as yes woolen clothes and silk clothes because certain insects feed on them you have seen that was the season is over after winter season your mother kept these clothes under the sun for few hours and then after keep these clothes store these clothes very properly you put uh, moth balls or naphthalene balls okay or dried neem leaves to protect them from insect okay so we should store we should keep the clothes very properly and and in between the folds we should keep keep both balls and dried neem leaves naphthalene balls and clothes should be always ironed iron clothes should look always neat and clean you look smart if you will wear neat clothes iron clothes okay 
So, these are the things that uh, how you care the clothes, how you store the clothes clear. So, all the things are clear and one more thing patients clothes should be always disinfected by the antiseptic lotion. And uh, one more thing that uh, woolen clothes and silk clothes clean them with the mild shampoo or very mild shampoos are available in the market and detergents. So, these are the things how we take care of the clothes. Now, I think after completing this, this lesson, now you come to new and you are able to give all the answers of these questions. Why do we wear clothes? What are the materials for clothes? In different seasons, which cloth we wear? Clothes at workplace, who wear different types of uniforms, different types of dresses. Then what are the use of socks? What are the use of shoes? How we care and store clothes, clear? So, this understood these all the things. Now, see what are the quick recap. Here are the some few new words, words to know. Waterproof, what is the meaning of waterproof? which is through which water cannot pass, then non porous something that does not allow water. Overall a one piece of cloth for the dress, disinfected that is freed from germs. So, children now I will send you answers, Okay, you read this lesson, try to understand it, clear. So, keep on learning, keep on studying.